Hello friends, thanks for clicking and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about dressing of stone surfaces. The exposed stone surfaces are dressed into suitable shapes to suit the requirement of the work. The process of taking out the stones from natural rock beds is known as the quarrying. The term quarry is used to indicate the exposed surface of the rocks. The quarrying operations may either be carried out by hand tools or with the help of explosives. So here we will discuss about varieties of finishes for stonework. So first finish is self faced or rock faced or quarry faced finish. Some stones as obtained from the quarry possess smooth surface and they can be directly placed on the work. Such a stone surface is termed as self faced or rock faced or quarry faced finish. So this image shows quarry faced finish. Next finish is scabbling finish. In this type of finish, the irregular projections are removed by a scabbling hammer and in this way the stones are roughly dressed. So these image are shows the scabbling finish by using scabbling hammer. Next finish is hammer dress finish. In this type of finish, the stones are made roughly square or rectangular by means of a Waller's hammer. So in this image you can see Waller's hammer. The hammer dress stones have no sharp or irregular corners and have comparatively even surface so as to fit well in the masonry as shown in image. Next finish is axed finish. The surfaces of hard stones such as granite are dressed by means of an axe. Such a finish is termed as axe finish. So this image shows axe finish by using axe. Next one is tooled finish. The stone surface is finished by means of a chisel and parallel continuous marks either horizontal or vertical or inclined are left on the surface. So these two images shows the tooled finish. Next one is punch finish. On the surface of stone, the depression are made by using a punch. The surface takes the form of a series of hollows and ridges as shown in this image. Next one is furrowed finish. In this type of finish, a margin of about 20 mm width is sunk on all the edges of the stone and the central portion is made to project about 15 mm. A number of vertical or horizontal grooves about 10 mm wide are formed in furrowed projected portion. This finish is generally adopted to make the coins prominent. Next finish is reticulated finish. This type of finish present a net like appearance. This image shows the reticulated finish which present a net like appearance. A margin about 20 mm wide is marked on the edges of the stone and irregular sinkings are made on the enclosed space. A margin about 10 mm wide is provided around the irregularly shaped sinkings having a depth of about 5 mm as shown in this image. A pointed tool is used to put the marks on the sunk surface so as to present a pock mark appearance. Next one is vermiculated finish. This finish is just similar to the reticulated type except that the sinkings are more curved as shown in this image. Vermiculated finish present a warm eaten appearance as shown in this image. Next finish is boasted or drawed finish. In this type of finish, the bolster is used to make non-continuous parallel marks on the stone surface. The marks may be horizontal, vertical or inclined. So this image shows inclined marks. 
A booster is a chisel having an edge of width about 60 mm. Next one is plain finish. In this type of finish, the surface of the stone is made approximately smooth with a saw or with a chisel. So this first image shows plain finish by using saw and second image shows the plain finish by using chisel. Next finish is chisel rotted margins. In order to obtain uniform joints, the margins are placed which may be either squared or pitched or chamfered as shown in this image. Next one is dragged or comb finish. In this type of finish, a drag or a comb which is a piece of steel with a number of teeth is rubbed on the surface in all direction. This image shows the combed or dragged finish. Dragged finish is suitable for the soft stones only. Next finish is sunk finish. This finish is obtained by sinking the surface below the original level in the form of wide grooves, chamfers, inclined surfaces, etc. This image shows here wide grooves. So this is the sunk finish. Next one is rubbed finish. This type of finish is obtained by rubbing a piece of stone with the surface or by rubbing the surface with the help of a suitable machine. This image shows the rubbed finish with a suitable machine. Next finish. The water and sand are freely used to accelerate the process of rubbing as shown in this image. This image shows the water and sand are freely used to accelerate the process of rubbing. Next finish is circular finish. In this type of finish, the surface is made round or circular as in the case of a column as shown in this image. Next one is molded finish. The surface of the stone can be molded in any desired shape so as to improve the appearance of the work. The moldings can be made either by hand or machine. So this first image shows the molded finish by using hand and second image shows molded finish by using machine. And last finish is polished finish. The surfaces of stones such as marbles, granites, etc. can be polished either by hand or with the machine. So this image shows the polished finish by using machine. So thanks for watching. I hope this video will be helpful for you. For more updates, subscribe my channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you so much.